I attended Seton Hall from 1961 to 1965 and studied nursing in now the College of Nursing here at the university. I met Dr. Georges uh, at Seton Hall the first day of classes in 1961. She was obviously from the Virgin Islands. She was lovely and outspoken and looking very different for um, New Jersey and very out of place because she was cold. It was fall and she wasn't used to fall and she wasn't used to winter. and. So we noticed her right away, and um, eventually we you know, got to know each other a little bit better. In terms of servant leadership, Leisha, of course, we know now, clearly in present day, she's involved with servant leadership from her present activities, employment, volunteerism. Uh, she's on the go all the time. But in 1988, a few short years after graduation, having married and had a child, Seton Hall did a profile on her in the alumni magazine and it describes her servant leadership at the time. And she was focused at the time on the disparities in the black community. And she took that and ran with it to be the Alicia, the leader, the most distinguished alumna we have today. And to see that Seton Hall has done quantum leaps towards diversity and inclusivity and belonging. I thank Seton Hall for their, their community engagement and their push and their speaking out to make sure this has happened. Greetings. I'd like to wish my mom, Dr. Catherine Alicia Georges, a huge congratulations on this wonderful honor. Mom, you make us so proud every day. I'm so glad that Seton Hall saw fit to give you this award. Congratulations again. We love you and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Jima, again, this prestigious award. I'm so proud of you. Love you. Greetings from the Watson family in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Congratulations, Alicia. We're always proud of your achievements. Keep it up. Congratulations, Alicia. I remember 1965. I was right there. Congrats again. Congratulations, Alicia. We're so proud of you and how you've used your gifts to teach, to advocate, to inspire, and to love. Keep up the good work. We love you. Congratulations to our awesome, dynamic aunt, Dr. Catherine Alicia Georges. I live in legend. You are truly deserving of this honor. We, we love, love you. <laughs> Alicia. I'm honored to be able to witness your award back in 2020 and especially this time in person where you belong because there's no words or print that describes you. So you need to be there. You need to be in person spreading your joy, your energy and um, your plans for the future because you always have a plan. On behalf of the Alumni Board of Directors, I'd also like to add a special thank you and congratulations to Dr. Georges, our 2020 Most Distinguished Alumna, and thank her for her service and offer congratulations. To be honored by your place where you got your first degree will always, always be such a great privilege for me.